Hello, I'm Scott. I'm the breathing guy. I will train you to locate, generate, activate core K energy for energy and strength in physical activities. Welcome to meditative soft Tai Chi Qigong exercises to change stress, tone muscles, increase your overall breathing ability and coordination. This is about being healthy in movement and how to develop awareness to move your energy and work your muscles and strength. Now, the, well, this whole approach depends on the five points that I introduced in the first video, and they are hips, to, uh, feet, hands, head, and torso core breathing. In other words, your, how do you engage your whole torso to, for your breath? involved and I'm heavy into the breath. There's a uh, way of looking at what humans are. There's mind, there's body and breath. Breath is in the center that flows between the mind and body. It links the mind and body together itself okay, because it's the energy force. The way you breathe affects your energy and affects your strength. And I'm going to go into what makes you weak is your shoulder stress. If you have a stress in your shoulders, you move your shoulders up in any way when you're doing a physical activity, it makes your whole body weak. If you engage your core area, this muscle back here in the lower glute, it will make you physically more dynamic. That's how you engage it. So the whole exercise is to soften the shoulders, the, no stress, be able to make your mind aware of what you're doing and be far more connected to your physical movement during the exercises. So you go take it through outside of the exercise into life. I'll deal with it more in that area. But so this exercise, this video, I'm gonna deal with more with hips. You, hips are the foundation of movement and breathing. How you have your hips set up. And as you get older, I said, is that you don't, they can get tighter. In other words, the movement locks your hips in place and the atrophy if you don't move the muscles. So I'm going to go more into the hips and how to make it more part of your movement of engaging your strength and your breath. For you, for oh, the hips are the areas for energy and strength. And how you bring that about through core breathing, through torso breathing, engages your whole hands and feet and head in the movement. So five points. Always remember, number one is hips, setting your hips effectively. Two, feet, grounding, balancing, working the feet during the movement. Three is hands. How do you move your hand? How do you engage each finger, fingertip, and head? Position your head. That comes with the hips, so you have alignment and energy flows up and down your spine and throughout your body. And then the last fifth point, torso breathing, core breathing. How do you engage the whole torso within the breath itself? The better the range of torso breathing, the more dynamic you will be in whatever activity you are. So there's three chambers, lower chamber below the belly button, diaphragm, chest. How you engage those three determines, if you want to say, the breath range, the dynamic force, what you have. And keeping those tone because tone is range of motion. Tone is the level of activity. You have tone muscles and strength. But if you got to get a tone first because you can't move, that's doing, making the area that you pick hard and soft. So, I'm going to go more into hips and positioning your hips. I'll give it a couple, a couple uh, concepts. The better grounding force you create, the softer you can make your shoulders, changing the stress and how to use your breath. So this is what I want you to work on. How do you begin all exercises? It's like pre-setting up. Getting into your breath is the first clue. So first thing, tip your hips a little forward and just bring up like this. Inhale, exhale. Rock back and forth a little bit, pull, use your toes. Inhale, push your belly button out and down at a 30 degree angle, hold it. Pause it, you're not holding it, you're pausing it, squeeze, exhale, release, pull it in. You should inhale 
as fast as you exhale. This is soft, meditative. So you, you inhale on five, pause on three, exhale on five. Active breathing is an offset breathing state. That's where you inhale quick, pause, and you exhale long. The longer you exhale, better. But for soft and calmness, if you can inhale for 20 seconds, like just really so, and you're all the time, this is moving out. This, your diaphragm moves, your chest, you're shaping your body. And then to pause, and you slowly, look, feeling your fingertips, feeling the fingertips. Let the fingertips hold the uh, hands up, the arms up, so there's nothing drops. Let the shoulders release. Let them come soft, soft, drop them, drop them, as you're exhaling. Always remember, exhale is the release of energy. Inhale brings energy in. So really appreciate that. Now, hip setting. This is an exercise, believe me. I, when I learned this, it, uh, I spent an uh, hour or so over a long period of time mastering this. So what I want you to do is tip your hip side. When you bring your toes out like this, bring your knee up, circle around. In doing so, your hips go forward, then see my toe, and then slowly set down. Let go, release. Do not try to hold yourself up. It's a new experience for everyone. You're not, you don't have to have your shoulders holding you up like this. So the hips are aligned. In other words, they're tilted, the spine, no arch in your back. Yeah, now inhale. Exhale. Use your toes. As your belly button goes out, the toes go down. As the belly button goes in, toes come up. But keep your 50-50 balance. If you want to rock back and forth eventually, that's good. So press your toes down. And as you're exhaling, pull your toes back, rock back. There's more. There's a lot more. But um, this is basic. Inhale, exhale. As you're exhaling, let your shoulders come. Let your upper body. The more you feel down here, let your mind feel, the softer you can make up here in your chest, your shoulders. You have. Now bring your head alignment back where your spine. So your spine's perfectly up and down. Your head's back. So it's down. You're not used to this with a lot of people, so don't force it. It takes time. But soften the shoulders on every exhale but just coming down and not hold yourself up. You can't fall, but you will work the thighs. You will work your legs. And a little movement forward, inhale, then pull the toes up, you'll rock back and forth. Or you can stay flat footed. Inhale, remember, when your belly button comes out and down, the this area of the glutes come up, and focus on that movement. And when you get done, you on the inhale, you move up, Pause, exhale, drop. That's one exercise, but learning to set the hips for all the exercises. And that's one technique of doing this so you don't forget. Just the idea of moving out like this with your hips, so your hips have to turn forward. So it's like your whole knee is coming up and circle around. And then when you come down, you're come dropping with your everything in alignment. Now you can breathe down here. If your hips are, uh, have an arch, you cannot breathe down here in the lower crawl. And you keep that, all you people walk around with arch, you're not at moving this, you eventually atrophy the muscles and it, everything fossils up where you can't move as much. You won't move for you free. You can test this even. If your hips are uh, down like this, look how you can move your hand. Now, put an arch and try to drop. You can't. Your body can't go out, only with the, uh, everything in alignment. You, that's how you can tell that you let go, because when you let go here, your body can let go. That's a sense of, you know, opening up. Your hands control the feet. I mean, your hands control the arms, your feet controls the legs. That's the key. The head guides it. I'm we'll gonna go into the senses. That's another area of the video. So the first one is just the idea of doing this and dropping and stand and take uh, 15 breaths. And on every exhale, blow out, you take half and half. And let go, let go. You can drop down the more. 
The more you release here, the more you can just You move a little bit between pauses, that's okay. You're breaking the tension, which is energy. So balance yourself, try to make yourself straight up and down, 50-50 balance if you want. And just let go and see how long you can stay like that. If you can stay for two minutes like that, you're good. When you told it, you're not trying to hold yourself up. It's a new sensation, so be patient with yourself. Be patient with the see the benefits of that, especially when you start going into movement where you're not trying to hold yourself up here. When you're doing this too, you want to think of someone pulling up your ears like this, that helps. It's like you can imagine and have your eyes cool as well. So that's the first. Next exercise I really like is the beginning to softening up here, firming here, and it's using the hips to rotate your shoulders. And that's basic. This is a basic technique. And if you're beginning, why turn the hip. And when you want to bring it back, throw the hip around. Use your feet. There's a way of using your feet, but I won't go into that now. So when you want to come back around, turn the hip, turn the hip. Let the hip just initiate the swing around. You can see how much separation you have. The idea of position your head so you don't, if, you head, if your shoulder is forward, look at my shoulder. See how it comes up when I'm turning? But if your head is back and your position right, it stays down. It's locked in place. Shoulders are locked in place. Great for golf swings. Because you don't want your shoulders to come up and down. So the idea of softening, turn the hip. Push with your leg. Push with So when, when I want to go this way, I press on the ball just a little to snap my hip around. Having that separation between hips and shoulders, the idea here. And well, be sure the hips are pivot. If you have an arch, you can't do it. You'll go like this. See how my hips and shoulders go there? But when you don't, you can really go. And let your hands, let your, have your fingers slightly open to slightly so it goes. Then we get really good, then you let your arms fall. See how I'm going? Go back and forth, press on the ball, makes the hips turn. Let the hips turn, not you doing this involved. It's a whole different sensation where you're driving your force from the lower body, not from the shoulders. Most people, again, hips is the foundation for movement. If you want any force and breath involved. So you have that action involved. So. That's one way to uh, loosen up. In other words, start softening your whole body down. Start softening. Now I'm gonna give you one more technique, and that's, uh, someone calls it the stagecoach effect. Or another term in more technical terms, rebounding. Now this is complex, trust me. It takes a lot of work, a lot of time, but for people that are in high stress jobs, or you're going out for the golf course, you wanna have your body loose, you're going for a tournament. You don't want your mind to go, you know, be the dominant force. You want your body feeling. So this whole technique is to re-engage the mind and body connection where your sensories from the body comes up to the mind and the mind's awareness. It's an awareness, awareness process. comes in about, Then you go out where you have soft upper body. So your body's just fluid. And to begin with this, again, Go like this, just natural, and then you drop, and then you start bouncing. This is rebounding. Now, the key to this one, have your, don't have your hand like this. So you look at, when I try this one, see how it's cup? Yeah. Have your hand with your fingertips open. That way, when you're bouncing, they just slide or flop. The more your hands, actually, the more your wrists are soft, the softer shoulder. Let your shoulders drop. You know, ball. Just a little bouncing up and down. Use your feet, just so, you know, your knees just go back. There's a light one where your knees are not bent very much, like this. But breathe. Inhale, pause, exhale. As you exhale, just bow. Just let the shoulders go. And exhale out the mouth, through the lips. For five to ten seconds. Inhale, fast. Shh. <laughs> 
Pull this belly button in. Pull that belly button in. You're working. That's the key part. Don't try to struggle. Don't try to overdo it. This is very light. You can even uh, make it through. Inhale. Shake it loose. Just like, oh. There's a lot of ways to play with this to soften the shoulders, to soften the jaw. Having the jaw soft is a key element to having the shoulders and having you feeling your body. I would say the tighter your jaw, the less you, all your thoughts go to that, it's painful. Your mind becomes aware of your body, you're shaking it loose. You wanna rock it back and forth a little bit? Let the shoulders just flop around, the hands, let it come loose. Then you go in front like this, like you're throwing water off. Then you try back, that's a good one. But keep your spine there, don't try to bend. That's the hardest part because you have to open up your shoulders. When you get done, inhale. Bring your energy in. Exhale. Release and soften your knees, soften your body. Keep your hips in form. That's stage coaching or rebounding, you pick. There's more. There's a lot more you can do this. But if you can do that for 10 minutes, breathe, you can go out your mouth, and that's the nose. Five minutes out of the mouth first, that softens the shoulders, and five minutes after that, out of the nose. That softens the hips and body. Those are focal points. So I give you two more on that preparing that you get. I'm not trying to give you a whole system yet. There's a whole system. Everything that I'm showing you is part of a system. But you learn these parts as an experience, instead of just learning the system, and then you hopefully you learn the experience. I'm trying to get you to the, because each one in itself is its own dynamic force. You don't need it anyway. If you can do that rebounding, or here, or just like hips, and breathe, feel the breath, and uh, you're gonna soften the upper body, soft all this, soft. And if you want, bring your hands to your thighs and squeeze the thumb and little finger. The rest of the fingers are loose. Drop your shoulders. If you squeeze these two together like that, you can discharge the energy out of your shoulders. And, well, and then you can breathe more down here. But the hips are the key point for both stability and hip. And then the feet, then the upper body, the hands, the five points, remember, is hips. Get those hips uh, set up so you can be strong. Use engage the lower core. Feet. How you position them, balance, use them during movement. Hands, the hands move the arms. The fingers, there's four parts. Wrist, palm, finger, and fingertips. And then the head, position your head so the spine and everything flows. It's not forward, that's hard. And the last one is breathing. How to core breathe, how to torso breathe, how do you engage the three chambers, lower, mid. That affects everything, and that takes a lot of focus. It takes a lot of cards, and then exhale, exhale, exhale. How do you exhale from here? Then how do you exhale through your body? It is an energy experience. Meditation, all meditation has breathing. This is dynamic breathing. I don't have much visualization except being aware of your body at this stage of the game. I just want you to enjoy your mind, enjoying the sensations that you're producing from these exercises, these simple exercises. That's all. So look for the next video of meditative soft Tai Chi Qigong exercises to change your stress, have better toned muscles, and better feeling of awareness of your physical connection between the mind and body and breath.